For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Friday, April 12th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are some of the stories we're following at this hour. New Hampshire Attorney General Gordon McDonald, New Hampshire State Police Colonel Christopher Wagner, and Hinsdale Police Chief Todd Faulkner say an investigation is ongoing into the suspicious deaths of an adult male and an adult female in Hinsdale. Additional information will be released as soon as possible while still protecting the integrity of the investigation. Marlboro College has exceeded their goal with a spring fundraiser. The goal of Sugar Rush 2019 was to unlock $350,000 in challenge funds. Campaign leaders wanted to reach 225 donors during the two weeks leading up to April 3rd, and the final donor count was 19% above that number at a stunning 429 gifts, raising a combined total of more than $410,000 in gifts and challenge dollars. A milestone in the Interstate 91 Williams River Bridge project will take place on Monday. The I-91 Exit 6 northbound on-ramp will be closed for two weeks while the ramp is reconstructed to its original grade. All motorists will follow a signed detour on Route 5 north to the Exit 7 northbound on-ramp. The ramp is anticipated to be opened up on April 26 when all traffic will be switched over to the new I-91 northbound bridge. The Vermont Defender in General is suing the state's only juvenile detention facility, charging that staffers use dangerous and painful restraint techniques and other disciplinary methods that run afoul of common standards. The lawsuit comes after years of complaints about Woodside Juvenile, Reha Juvenile Rehabilitation Center in Colchester and questions about its future. The Department for Children and Families, which runs the facility, counters the claims in the lawsuit contain mischaracterizations and factual inaccuracies. WTSA Sports, not a good start for the Bruins in their playoff series against Toronto. Mitch Marner scored twice. The Maple Leafs beat the Bruins last night 4-1. to one. Those teams play again in Boston Saturday night with the puck dropping at 8 p.m. The Red Sox rallied for a 7-6 win over the Blue Jays as Rafael Devers hit a RBI single with one out in the ninth. Again, Boston 7, Toronto 6. Uh, Boston hosts Baltimore this evening. Eduardo Rodriguez on the mound for Boston. First pitch at 7-10. Yankees begin a series with the Chicago White Sox. In the Bronx tonight, Jay Happ on the mound for New York. First pitch at 7:05. Celtics begin their playoff series against the Indiana Pacers on Sunday. Tip-off at 1.00. And locally, your Friday local sports schedule, Hensdale Baseball and Softball, both at Portsmouth Christian, 4 p.m. games. Brattleboro Track at Fall Mountain today. Leland and Gray Baseball hosting Springfield. Brattleboro, uh, Brattleboro Boys Lacrosse hosting McCann Tech. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Friday, April 12th, my name is Ian Kelly.